this thing super soul is existing. My identity, if I will lose my identity, I cannot test it. To test, I <coughs> want to be in my identity. Yes? On behalf of Advaitins. I am not Advaitins. No, 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 I know you are from there. Uh, you are more higher than that. <laughs> I would like to say, actually, you don't find pure Advaiti because there is always bhakti in every, in every. I was thinking about this this morning. There is no one just hundred percent Advaiti and hundred percent bhakti because it's all in one. You know, there is always bhakti in Advaiti. But also, actually, the term impersonal. You had here one Indian Christian Christian theologian from. Bengal, West Bengal, Brahma Banda Upadhyay. And he thought that impersonal is actually not right term, that the suprapersonal would be better because it shows something which is above all the words, about all, all, all the imagination, the immensity of God. So in this, it's fair to say that impersonal sounds really impersonal, but often they don't mean it in this way. Impersonal behave very personal. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And personal behave very impersonal. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I'm telling you. Yes. They are behavior of like this. When you will meet with the personal people who talk about personal, they will behave that they, they are very important. But you go to some person, impersonal philosopher, Ashra, you will feel very personal there. Do that? Ah. But there is some exception. No, no, I am a person. <laughs> ah, I think I am also impersonal. <laughs> but it's happening, I see this. So I like impersonal because they behave very personal. But why they behave very personal? Because they they know one thing <coughs> that they are so. And they see the all living entity like a soul. And they they are for them is a jet. They for the they for them is a jet. Jet means the alphabet final goal to be so you see like this. And for the personal personal who say that I am a devotee. They think that I change the clothes. Now I become personal. I become connected with the law. They change only outside. They don't realize even the soul. And they try to become pure devotion. But they are not any conscious, even like a person. Impersonal. They are missing many things. So they behave very impersonal. Because they don't know to behave. They think that we become now pure. <laughs> I'm the best. I'm the highest. But no realization of themselves. What? Impersonal, they fix themselves in that realization and they behave very personal. In the few in the devotees, they have a realization that they understand this is a for me only. If nothing happened now, 
we have to go more deep with this concept. For the impersonal, this is function. But they do behave very personal. Because this is the way to develop good behavior, change their behavior, carry to others. You understand, you see? You feel this, you see? They say, oh, I have a japa, I am the best. I think chanting sixteen rounds, I go to the temple, I wear some kanti and mala and so okay. on. I am the best devotee, but no realization of themselves that I, they are so. Very important. You have to see, because you are a professor, you have to see. email address and go to He is also research in peace and violence. He is studying. He is living in the Norway. You can keep connection. They are doing peace. 